What is up everybody, it's Easy, Easy Street Gaming, but you know the Brutal Age video, Th today's video is Red vs Blue War, pretty cool comparison, no green, because green sucks, so we're not going to use green at all, this is Red vs vs Blue, we'll start off with Red, Red does a push up attack, it's a, it's a one player attack, it attacks one enemy, it stuns them possibly, uh, Red's top attack is called Brutal Collision, it's an attack all enemy attack, it can also uh, deal higher defense for a higher, I mean, higher damage for higher defense, just like in the red. It also does this um, defensive-minded uh, skill, thick skin. So the more damage it has on it, the harder it is to kill. So they're basically a pain in the ass to kill. Overall, red versus blue. Most people know that red, red is a little weaker than blue, and I'll, and I'll tell you why once we get to blue. But red has gained in popularity because of how popular the green partners are. So you'll have a, you'll have like for example, a lot of people will lead with the green demon killer. So red being able to control green a little bit, the 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 red four is actually an excellent partner against all a, a big green team. You build the red four similar to the blue. Where you'll have all defense minded uh, war patterns, you'll use all bull, you try to get defense percentage up top on everything. Some people will tell you to put speed on the left hand on all war, on all heroes. Uh, personally, I use all defense on left hand, right hand, and helmet, and it seems to do okay. Um, some people also tell you to use the resistance or hit on the right hand. I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is, if you use all defense, his damage is great. I've seen some pretty elite uh, red red boars up here. That's pretty amazing. Uh, they're hard to kill. Now, there's a, there's a technique that you want to use with both boars, and I'll get into it at the end of here. Now, you you see now I, I'm, he's fighting with the green catfish fighter. The green catfish fighter gives someone a shield at the end of every one of his attacks, and because the way you'll build the boars. And this is actually a really important feature for the boar. You never want to use hit point percentage on any boar. Because they're defense partners. You're going to use defense percentage instead of hit point percentage. You want to keep their hit points low and their defense real high. The reason is, is the other team, they kind of bully your team. And they'll attack the, the team member with the lowest hit points. So you want the, the red bull to have the lowest hit points on the, on the team. That way he gets attacked. Meanwhile, he has a very high defense. And then, when the catfish fighter does his attack, he gives the red the red uh, boar a shield. So not only does he have a very high defense, but he's also got a shield. I've seen many, many attacks where they're, all they do is attack the red boar. They never kill it, and their whole team gets wiped out. So in that respect, a pretty good partner. Uh, now remember, these three-star partners, as you're building them, you want to upgrade them when you go into the altar. You want to upgrade them with other boars. So he, his ability should be maxed out by the time you hit level 6. On the right side you'll see the war pattern that I suggest for both boars are left hand defense, helmet defense percentage, right hand defense percentage. You see all the other ones on, on the second to fifth attributes. Moving on to the blue, <coughs> much more popular. Uh, if you've watched some of my past videos, he's um, he's one of the five three stars that I believe that everyone should build over and over again. He's got the freeze attack. That's his number one attack. It's it's similar to the brutal collision, except for he has a very high percentage chance to freeze the entire team. So that takes away their next attack. Uh, he's he's very popular on a lot of the speed the speedster teams where you'll have uh, the the blue. Black Shaman leading. I'll get it. I'll get it together. You'll, you'll have the blue Black Shaman leading. You'll have the red Dragon Man in there. You'll have the blue Boar in there. A lot of people will use the, the red guitarist. You use him in a, in a team like that, and his attacks just blend very well with like the Shamans that does the stun. Then you have the blue Boar that does the freeze. And meanwhile, he's the lowest hit point player, uh, player on your team, so he's getting all the attacks. He's got this huge high defense. So overall, very strong partner. He's strong, I'll say it again, because you can max out his abilities fairly easily because you're going to get a lot of boars. So take advantage of the boar by using a lot of boars to upgrade him and max out his abilities right away. It's not like uh, a lot of times you'll find your three star partners are actually stronger than your five stars, your natural five stars, because this just gives the, uh, the prime example of the, the blue nomad. 
there are still people that have been playing for a year that don't have a blue nomad yet. They haven't spun enough turtles for it. They haven't got lucky yet. So, so then they get one. Well, he's at level one. Meanwhile, your blue boar is maxed out at level seven on one one attack, level five on the other attack. So he's got a much higher um, ability level than your five stars. That's why these three stars can be so much even stronger than some of your five stars. So just as a comparison from blue to red, I think you have to give blue uh, the slight advantage over red because blue does the freeze ability with with his attack. Whereas red, it does it does do an all party attack, but it doesn't dan it doesn't freeze. Uh, I believe what it does is it can damage over three rounds, which that's great too. But it's just not the same as freezing the opponent and not letting them attack at all. So you gotta give you gotta give blue the edge on that. Very popular three star partner. Um, so keep in mind, everyone's gonna, everyone should build a, a blue boar. Uh, it's not a bad idea to build a red boar as well, especially with the lonely warrior uh, rally attacks. A uh, few tips. One, stay away from green altogether. It just has one attack where it's a single target attack and then it has uh, a defensive maneuver that it does. So it's just kind of, uh, it's attacks are, are weak or, you know, it's just weaker than the other two. I uh, use the bold war pattern on all six. Bold's a defense war pattern. Use defense percentage to increase the damage. So it actually, uh, you actually increase the damage that the, bo that the boars do with the defense percentage. Or just with higher defense and don't use hit point percentage anywhere on it on the boar because you want the other party to attack the boar because he has such high defense if you use him with partners that, that put up a shield and he has the lowest hit points they'll be attacking the boar and he'll have a shield so all kinds of good things can happen so hope you enjoyed the video red first blue boar it's over till next time it's been easy take care everybody Yeah. <laughs>